Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about career advice. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, great video as always. I need a bit of career advice. I work as a medium I work at a medium-sized tech company, about a hundred people. I joined the company a year ago as a support engineer and I do some mostly support and some scripting and bug fixing. And it's been fun and, and educational, but I want to transition to product development. This was my first job out of school. I have done a great job in this position. I think my manager is considering me a potential lead in the future. And so there is some potential within this role. But I'm worried that there will be much less flexibility and growth than a, within a product development team in the long run. Should I stay in application support and, or, and look for, for the lead role, or should I transition to development? And the short answer is it depends on what your desire is, but I think that you've already answered your own question. Let me explain. So what I derive from this is that flexibility is a factor to you. And I think that that is a very, very good thought that you have there. You see, when you first start out, there might be, or rather, I'm not just going to say that this always, this doesn't always happen, but there are quite a lot of, I can't even believe I'm saying this, young people, a lot of young people who will go for what they want here and right now. The short-term win, which is what most people are about, right? The short-term win. Now, you see, the problem is that when you go for the short-term win, when you're 20, 25, something like that, you're you're forgetting something and that thing that you're forgetting is that life's life continues it goes on you're gonna live for a long 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 time and the thing is about that that your needs are gonna change so if you don't think about that you know though you know everybody's had that parent I hope or at least the a student counselor or something like that has been that told you that if you don't study and work really hard in school you're gonna amount to nothing that's not always true but it does me it does actually it it is actually correct on one point and that is that although you may be able to get to something within your life here on this planet well you're not gonna be as flexible and flexibility is a really great thing when you're in something for the long run because if you're in something for the long run you've all read and hopefully you hopefully have understood that your needs are going to develop unless you really are happy where you are and there's never going to be a dis development within your personal ambitions or needs and so forth i have today more than a few friends who have talked to me more than a few times and are well, there's no kinder way to say it. They're severely depressed because they, well, and they actually, a few of them actually do work in support. And they're severely depressed because they, very, in a very similar fashion, decided to jump on the first well-paying job that they could find when they were about 19, 20, 24, something like that. And at the time it was great because at the time they had bills then they wanted to get an apartment and they wanted to get a girlfriend and like all of these good things that you need a lot of money for when you're still fairly early in your career. Now the problem is that they're in their 30s now and they really only know one job and that is to be a, in this case, support person at one specific company. And that's not something that is in all that high demand in the IT world. If you're working as a support engineer, odds are that you're, you're not, you, I can promise you that you're not going to be in as high demand as a product development uh, developer, like a, a, the traditional software developer. It is the software developers who are in the absolute highest demand rivaled probably only by very specific types of uh, data scientists and machine learning engineers and uh, DevOps engineers, things like that. Anything that gets related to product development is usually the thing that is the sex of IT and it's the thing that everybody wants. The support engineer staff is practically a use, it's, 
it's you're not going to be able to switch jobs as readily as if you are a product and product development team in the, in the product development and my friends have learned this the hard way because now all of a sudden they feel like they don't really like their job anymore it's kind of boring there's a lot of issues they're dealing with angry people every day and just helping out people with IT support basically and they would like to switch jobs or do something different. The problem is that they're up in their eyeballs in depth and nobody, they really don't know any other thing. They can't really go and they don't want to go back to school again and re-educate themselves and to be able to go somewhere else and so forth and so forth. So when what this subscriber is describing is I think a very interesting thing and that is that key thing flexibility is flexibility more important than going as high as possible within a specific role I like to say that it doesn't matter if you are a stowaway or the captain if you're on the wrong ship because if, you, if you're on the wrong ship you're still not going to go where you want to go and to me at the very least it seems to me uh, it seems that the subscriber is interested in doing more with his life already like after a year he, all, he already considers the possibility that his job won't actually offer him as much flexibility because i can promise you one thing even if you go for the tech lead, uh, the team lead role within support all you're going to do is go one level up and then you have to ask your that ask yourself the question do you want to continue up and become a full-time manager because you can you there is a possibility for you to continue even higher from support and just become a general manager and so forth that's a bit of a gamble though because the like becoming a minimal middle management type of person or a higher level management is also a it's a it's a long road there's a lot of pitfalls and office politics related in order for you to be able to progress especially if you want to move away from support and do something different and so forth so at the very least I, what i what i can tell you is that there is a risk regardless of what you do but at the very least if you go with learning a skill set that is in high demand and has a high potential to stay in high demand for the foreseeable future you gain that flexibility and with that flexibility i promise you one thing you're not limited in going up just because you're a, pro a product development uh, software developer or like the traditional software developer it the, you can still become a manager within that role it's just that as the subscriber is uh, in this specific scenario you're gonna have to start over well more or less so what I want you to take away from this is that if you are in if you're gonna pick between going upwards in your current role or if you're going to try to spread your wings a little bit and like look around and try out different things you have to understand you have to ask yourself what your long-term goal is if you feel confident that you don't really have any ambition to try anything different and i promise you that's almost impossible for you to say in the beginning of your career it you're gonna live as i said for a long time and odds are that you will at some point want to do something different even if you love the thing that you're doing so if, if but if you can say with absolute certainty that that doesn't really factor in for you you're very happy with, with doing the thing that you do then go for it like try it then you shouldn't like try to bet on something that you may not want but in this scenario it seems to it seems that the subscriber is already thinking about leaving the role and the decision is really should I be ambitious and try to go as far as possible within my own role or should I go into product development and be a little bit more flexible and all I can say is that flexibility is usually the way to go if you want to be able to make a midlife change or do something different without a lot of impact to your life I have plenty of friends who ha are in a situation where they're practically locked down in the career that they have it's a dead-end job they have progressed as far as they can which is not that high it's higher than when they started but it's not gonna take them much higher than that and they have no choice they have really no options apart from starting all over and they're unwilling to make that sacrifice so that is a real very real scenario however if you are 
a little bit more flexible and you actually invest in your future and keep things a little bit open you have the ability to pick and choose whatever you want to do and if you find something that you really want to bet on and go for you can still progress it all it's kind of just like stacking the deck in your favor you can play the cards however you want it's just that you try to keep a well-rounded hand so that you can play the card that will give you the best outcome for the given situation have a great day